Hi, I'm making this video to provide a demonstration on how to construct your very own FPG-9 glider for the Aviation Merit Badge. The materials you need are a template, which you can download from the internet. This template was produced by the Academy of Model Aeronautics. Uh, you just search FPG-9 template and it should come up. Print that out, locate a penny somewhere in your house, some scotch tape, some scissors. You also need to have foam plates readily available. So this package of foam plates from Walmart costs less than $2. So you get your foam plate, you get all your other materials ready, and you set about cutting out the template. Once the template is cut out, you trace the template over the top of the foam plate uh, with a Sharpie pen, it works fairly well and then you cut out the um, outline on the foam plate itself. The template has down here at the bottom a tail section. So as you trace it, trace around the tail section on the foam plate. But when you cut it out, you can go ahead and cut straight down this line right here so that you have a separate tail section. Uh, this is my finished foam plate glider. You can see how I align the tail section so that this curved part would be at the front, about right there on the airplane. And this slit, and this slit, I cut into the foam so that I could slide the tail onto the wing section of the foam plate glider. And when I was done with that, then I taped a piece of scotch tape onto the penny and I fixed the penny to the dot. Now, you'll see on the template there are two sections right here. On the left side, it says left elevon, and on the right side, it says right elevon. On the back part of the tail, it says rudder. Basically, those are slits that you make carefully in the foam, and it gives you the ability to modify the wing uh, somewhat by bending those little slits up or down uh, ever so slightly. If you look at my foam plate glider, due to my construction technique, I was unable to successfully get the tail to stand straight up and down. Luckily, that does not affect the ability of the glider to fly because I made a slight modification and it doesn't take much at all. Uh, you can see just how ever so slightly my rudder is offset and that balances out with that tail being cocked over to the side. All right, so take a quick look at the uh, fast forward 